Hey guys, what's going on? DZ here with Newbie Drone, and this is a build kit for the Savage Bee. For those of you that don't know what the Savage Bee is, it is a 1 and 2 S quad that runs 3 inch props and uh, our little 1202 motors. Also, is going to be using our Bee Brain Brushes V2, so this is the build we're going to be doing, and uh, you guys can follow along and do this at home as well. First thing you're going to need is the frame. This is the Savage Bee frame, it comes with all the hardware that you're going to need, so uh, we will be using that later. Next up, you're going to need motors. Here we're going to be using the Flow 1202 motors, the 11420. Uh, so it's made for 1S and it is dope. You'll see. Finally, you're going to need a flight controller. Here we're going to be using the B Brain Brushless V2 and um, it works. It's just all in one. You don't need an external receiver or nothing. So this is going to be a super simple build for you. And then a cap. So when you run 2S and stuff, recommended to run cap, obviously. Uh, caps make the world better. First thing I'm gonna do is unbox or unbag the frame. I'm gonna take the frame out and then I'm gonna mount the motors and I'm gonna cut everything. Uh, so let's get started. That's, they hit me with the bamboozle, bro. Did you see this? The top is sealed and they folded and tipped, like it was like not sealed. Now, <laughs> now I feel like I'm dumb. So you can see the frame comes with the hardware, uh, different sizes for different motors and stuff like that. So make sure you make sure everything is included in there. Next thing I'm going to do is open these flow motors and then install those onto the frame so I can get the wire length. You probably haven't seen these and that's because we haven't released them yet. So this is also a first look at the flow series motors, uh, 1202 size. Pew, pew. Oh, I'm also using the Newbie Drone Toolkit, 1.5 mil. Uh, we're going to be using the same toolkit for the soldering, uh, for everything. This is everything in here. Yep, here's the soldering, Sorry. here's the tweezers, here's the cutters, which we're going to be using here shortly. So once you have this mounted up, what I would do next is I'll mount the FC so I can figure out the motor wire length. Mm -hmm. So if you notice here, um, the FC itself comes with uh, hardware, uh, but we're going to be using, we're going to set that aside. This is for the whoops. Um, the frame and everything comes with these longer standoffs and then also these longer uh, hex bolts. And that's what we're going to be using to put the FC onto the frame. And you want to put the, the bigger side uh, on the bottom if that makes sense. So here's the yeah. FC. Uh, you want to do it like that. So the bigger is on the bottom. For now, there's also a front and the back to the frame. Uh, this is the back. You'll notice uh, it lines up with the USB port. So if you try to put the USB port, obviously it's going to be uh, hitting the front if you do that. So make sure you put the USB port in the back. So we actually make we actually make the screw able to just screw in into the carbon Straight fiber. into the carbon fiber, yeah. Carbon fiber acts as your retaining screw. With something this small and this light, it works. It actually works better compared we we try to use press nut, but it's <laughs> just not as good as uh, straight into the carbon fiber. Yeah, not with this size anyway. So I'm going to be putting two just to hold the FC in place so we can... Uh, Start soldering. Yeah, so we're gonna cut the wires to length first. So I'll, I'll, I'll put a little extra just in case uh, we need to recut, but gonna be about like that. Grab this bad boy here and give it a little extra. Done. So I'm gonna do that for all, all three of the uh, remaining motors. So those are the motor wires cut. Now we're gonna have to strip each one and then we're gonna have to tin each one and then we're gonna solder to the motor pads. It's hot. It's immediately. I smell it. She smells hot. So once you plug into the battery, it immediately, yeah. immediately. There's no switch, no nothing. So uh, when you plug this in, don't touch. Because if you touch, you'll learn. Or smell chicken. So I'm just gonna pre-tin all the wires. Yep. 
since the the solder comes with the flux inside flux, flux coating yep. so when you do it right it will be super easy and simple to attach a solder to the, the wire Damn, that's a dirty clump. When it gets to this point, guys, make sure you clean off your your soldering iron. Don't go to your board like this, because that's how you'll mess stuff up. Yeah. Good enough. So now I'm gonna tin the pads on the FC itself, which is a little more, um, I guess, uh, smaller smaller soldering iron and, area. Um, yeah, people have to be careful. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Chris Wayne, when you're doing the prototype build, he did like mess up, um, broke yeah. one of the. So don't leave it on there too long. If you do, um, the solder can actually heat up, melt, and then go under the pads, and that can like mess stuff up. So you only want to touch the pad for a few seconds. Don't be Chris Wayne. Yeah. You don't need to really pay attention to if you cross wires. Um, I, I do because uh, then it can affect the way you set up BO Heli and stuff like that. Uh, just just know that if you cross wires, it's going to reverse the direction of that motor. So after this, uh, I'll also show you the I'll also show you the software side. So BO Heli, motor direction, all that kind of stuff. Uh, just keep in mind that the way you solder on these motors can affect that. Yeah, but it doesn't matter. We can change it later. Yeah, you can change it. Yep. Yeah. All right. It's hard to capture. Yeah. It's okay. Okay. People know. Yeah. Nope. Not enough on that one. Let me. That one didn't quite have enough on the wire, so it was trying to be difficult when I was putting it on. So I'm gonna add a little more to that wire. And try again. A lot of soldering is prep work, making sure the surfaces are clean or that the right stuff is there. A lot of micro soldering here. Yeah, Kelvin's the, the king at this kind of stuff. I'm just stepping in because he's holding the camera. <laughs> All right, every time, every time. Always you, clean. When you use your solder iron, you want to clean up before it cool down. Yep, otherwise it's going to get sticky. Uh. There it is. That's all the soldering part done. So that's the hardest part is already done. Can you put up the angle? Yeah. Yep. Nice. These are not pretty solders, but they are functional. Okay, that looks good. Good enough. Sometimes, uh, I know some, some of you will try to like re-solder things time and time again to try to make it look pretty. Um, I, I would kind of uh, stray against that because if you heat up the board too much, you can cause issues. And this is actually the antennas. Two antenna is diversity. Yep, built-in diversity and SPI antenna. To, like, bring another one up. Yeah. Yep. Oh. Oh. That's the first thing you want to do is put the the mount over the camera with the wire underneath it. Pretty simple. Yep. And then here you'll see there are uh, like slits almost in the top of the goober in mm -hmm. here. You're just gonna set it in there and then use two of these to screw it down. Yep. If you have big hand, it'll probably take some time or you need to use a tweezer. Yeah. Um, I would recommend to have the screw to sit on the the, the, the screw hole first. Oh yeah, so Maybe you can so you can hold it. Yeah, but this one comes with a magnet, see? Ooh, look at newbie drone. Magnet. And it's plug and play. It's plug and play. So you are done soldering. You're done with the hard part of building already. This is what I want to say. The only soldering part will be the motor. Yep. Solder on the motors, and you're you're basically done. And people keep asking what kind of sizes the uh, uh, the BI plugs using. It's actually uh, JST 0.8. Don't ask me again, please. <laughs> JST 0.8 for the camera plug. Don't ask him again, please. <laughs> there you have it. Now you're just uh, making wires look better. I might remove this, twist them so that this looks better. The gray color pointing part in here and you see the negative, that's the negative. Yeah. If you solder it backward, you will see firework. You guys want to see fireworks? Hold on. Let me 
get my tip in there without. The positive pad will be easier to solder. The negative is actually like all the ground. So right, it has a, um, a little bit difficult. Yeah, it has a lot of the uh, the heat sinks counteracting your work. All right, all right. So building part is actually done. Done. We need propeller also. Yeah, yeah. The gem fannies. What kind of propeller are you going to use? Uh, gem fan 3018s, uh, dual blade, super fast spin up, crazy fast top end, nice recover, uh, especially with these motors. So it. it we tested a bunch of different um, propellers and that was like the go-to for sure. All right, cool. First thing we're gonna do is set a beta flight. If you did need to flash, this is how you would do it. You would click flash, your local, cause you already downloaded it. And then you would just click on it. Then you would click flash and it would go through the process and then it will go ahead and put in all the settings and everything for you. Um, but let's go ahead and, this has already been flashed. Uh, so let's go ahead and look at this. First thing you're gonna do is calibrate the accelerometer after you do a flash. So I'll go ahead and do that real quick. And then once that's done, I'm just gonna kind of click through some things. Uh, but like, like I said, all the PID's gonna be tuned, all the settings are gonna be correct. Um, so yeah, it's gonna be red and props out as you can see here. Yeah, all the battery stuff's already set up. Fail set stuff is set up. Here's your PID's, all the PID's are already tuned and everything. Um, pretty much the only thing, if you go into your modes, like once you're bound and everything, if you go into your modes, make sure you're your arm is, is the switch that you want it to do. Um, if you do run angle or horizon, it's available. And then also your, your turtle mode switch. Yeah, once that's done, go ahead and click disconnect. Up next, we're gonna take a look at JESC. Uh, this is if you did already buy the V2 from us with the Savage B kit, all your settings are already gonna be there. But this is what it's gonna look like, hi, hi. Uh, also, if you needed to change a motor direction, this is where you would do that. So you just click on here, reverse or normal, and then click on right setup and that'll go ahead and write that setup. Uh, if you if you already had um, a B-Brain Brushless V2 and you needed to flash the firmware, or if you didn't already have the correct firmware on here, this is what you would do. Make sure it's on SH40, uh, and then on the JES version, just make sure you do not click on the 48, because that's only for whoops. We're using bigger motors, so it'll mess with things. So make sure you click on the 24. Uh, then once you click on that, you click flash, and then your settings will be uh, flashed into what you need. So it's uh, configured, built, and this is gonna be the test run. Uh, have it on the 1S, hopefully no explosions. <laughs> I hope. 1S. Do you have the DVR? Uh, nice. Arm real quick. You know, it's almost, you can't hear. As soon as you go like 10 feet away, it's like silent. I can't hear anything here. Silent! Whoa, again. It's that same brain. Silent! N uh, nice landing, nice landing. That's a perfect landing right there. You know what's funny though? Mm -hmm. Do you have the turtle mode? Oh, you have turtle mode set up. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah, and you get like three minutes on a 300, so that's it's pretty ridiculous. You can see I'm just using 300, no nothing, nothing special.